G'day, g'day everyone, welcome, welcome back to another set of Alliance Wars. This time around we have got Zertskia Itziotkia matched up against Invictus, or the Bold and the Sharp. Um, I will continue apologising for my mispronunciation, um, I have no idea, I'm sorry. I'm doing the best I can. So yeah, uh, blue tanks both sides of the battlefield this time around, I'm pretty sure it's even flags, um, but yeah, so... Uh, first off, let's talk about this flag and then I'll tell you about my um, my failings or whatever. So, uh, 311 gone with Venus, uh, Kwani and Fiddle as my triple setup. Uh, two off colours this time. So we've got, um, I went with purple seeing as the defence team has got double uh, yellows. So that's what uh, Amethyst is doing. And then I got Ghost as just an extra defence down, damage dealing, healing, whatever kind of hero. So, um good open of greens uh, to start ourselves off with which is how we've managed to get the tank position dead um, can follow up now with a bit of purple damage and get the kill on um, sidestep there so I did do these hit quite late at night um, I was feeling a bit tired uh, and I know at least a couple times my mind wandered or my fingers didn't do the best move uh, in the scheme of things so yeah, there's going to be a couple times where you can clearly see me do a misplay, um, and I think... Oh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but yeah, so that's just uh, a little bit of a, a positional play, um, but yeah, it's... Uh, I think when I did these hits, it was like 11.30 or something like that, and I'd fallen asleep twice on the couch already, um, so not the, not the best state of mind to be doing war hits at, but that's okay. We have got it to the point where the left-hand side is pretty well all gone. I will just fire off Amethyst there just to make certain that June dies. Now I've given myself a total ghosting lane on the left, and I can pretty much just play away on the right-hand side. So an interesting little thing here with Ikwani. Um, you would have noticed that I hit um, Ayumi, who did have counter-attack active. But the interesting thing is, is that the bleed burst does not actually trigger the counter-attack. It's just the initial damage that he does, which is counter-attack. So, which is really good because at least 50% of his damage is done by the bleed burst, um, which is really nice. So, next up we've got Fritzbomb, a uh, similar team. I've gone with uh, double healers though this time, as well as keeping the Aquani and Fiddle combination. And then I've brought Dragon Fist along for some additional charge control. So, um, I... Deliberately brought Variant Throttle to combat mostly Powell. Um, Variant Powell, he does heal quite a lot. I think it's just shy of 500 HP over three or four turns, um, which is quite a considerable amount of healing uh, in the scheme of things. So another setup where I've managed to get the green kill off or the, the tank kill and can now use the double tap of uh, Equani and Fiddle to deal a fair bit of damage. I think Flak resisted um, or dodged uh, the hit from... Uh, Equani, but in either case, um, the enemy flak has got a lot of health still, um, and then yeah, we can sort of just make a couple more matches. I am holding uh, variant throttle until that uh, Powell variant fires. He's close to charging, hence why I've held it back. Uh, unfortunately, did trigger uh, Dragon Fist as well, but got lucky with the targeting that he didn't actually hit my variant Powell, so I can now just remove that heal over time buff from them which is really nice, and, and now I can just finish the match off effectively uh, with my special skills that I've now got charged. So we'll just reheal for the sake of it. Um, fiddle, uh, sorry, Dragon Fist first, then Fiddle on um, the hero with the most health, and then I'll use Aquani on Dragon Fist as well to get him dead. And now it's just a case of finishing off Powell. There we go. So two from two, which is a good start. Um, both ghost tanks, I believe, so uh, good start to the war. Next up, we've got Robot 2037, uh, double healer, so it might end up in a bit of a stall fest. Nomad in the wing, uh, who is a very dangerous hero once he gets going because he's got that berserk style attack buff, uh, and he also dispels first, so counter attack is actually useless against him. So, um, do have a okay board, I guess, is probably the best way of describing it. It's got some green tiles, but they're not concentrated under the tank. Uh, we were able to get th a match three off on uh, Ghost there, but I haven't really been able to bring any more green tiles in um, to really assist in the board position, I guess. Uh, so we'll take the best match that's available to me and then use um, a Yumi, uh, sorry, Accent on the right-hand side, mostly because I want to put the Blind Ailment on uh, Nomad because he deals a lot of damage unfortunately didn't come to fruition uh, and we took a lot of damage on our one healer um, 
a lot of red tiles, which is good, but also bad. So that was one of the positional plays where I made a mistake. I should have put that on the left-hand side, um, seeing as the left-hand side is the side that didn't have the blind element on already, um, and Parsec is literally about to fire. So yeah, positional play there. Oh, sorry, a, a strategic play where I just missed. Uh, I did the wrong thing, completely the wrong thing there. And as a result, I do lose a lot of health here um, from Parsec. If I'd been able to put the blind chance from um, Accent out, maybe we could have survived uh, a hit or two, but as it is, um, yeah, it's uh, pretty much done and dusted from here because, yeah, there's there's not a lot that I can really recover from this point. So I will try to get the kill shot. Um, there you go, Nomad firing a second time. 1,400 damage, which is a lot of health loss. Do get two kills off, put a bit more damage on to um, Vision before we end, but, yeah, not not great in the end of uh, the... End of the at the end of that uh, fight. So, um, yeah, we'll go back in. I'm going to use a purple setup, seeing as there is two uh, yellow heroes in there. Um, so we've gone with Talon as a healer, or pseudo heal rather, double Night Owl setup for um, some bleed and, and stack damage, as well as that spy talent. Um, toy with the secondary uh, hero a fair bit. I do put Topaz in and out and in and out a couple times. Um, end up going with Goldman just to use a different hero to uh, one I normally would use and Variant Stinger um, as the second hero so not let's be real it's not the strongest of, of cleanup flags but um, I think well I mean it's strong enough overpowered I think for what I need to do I've basically got to get two partial yellow kills where I've got a purple stack uh, and then Nomad so yeah it's Optimally, I probably should have brought blue heroes instead of the yellows, but I wanted to use Variant Stinger. I don't get much of an opportunity to use her um, very much at all. So, a lot of damage now being popped out on um, enemy Nima. She did dodge one of the hits, and we saw a resist there on um, Nomad for the second one. So, both of them ended up only getting uh, the 90 bleed, whereas if uh, we'd been able to successfully deal it out, it would have done... I think 110 bleed per turn, um, courtesy of the stacking effect. But like I said, there's really not much risk involved in this this hit. So um, variant Stinger is charging really quickly, which is nice. I think she charges off uh, seven tiles, um, which is really good. Managed to get the the double tap out um, before Talon fires even once. So yeah, done and dusted. I only got full healing back, so that just showed Vision didn't have much health left after the. Um, the tiles and, and uh, Goldman's damage. So, uh, Next up, Waffle Maker. So double healer again, seeing as the last time I went single healer, it kind of panned out poorly, courtesy of a Nomad face shot. Uh, so this time we've got Wyatt and Nima as the two healers. One is an instant heal, one is, uh, I guess, delayed heal, heal over time kind of thing via the minions. Um, and then, yeah, we brought along Tamika and a third fiddle. I don't have a third Aquani level, so we can't make a, a third setup of that double tap, but um, yeah, still quite an effective team, and I brought Hex along for the mischance, as well as that super hectic um, Blaze Almond that she's got as well. So we're just going to pump tiles into a Yumi now that she's got the um, Insanity Almond going. I'll then put some damage onto Tamika, uh, try to put her out of the picture a little bit, and then I'm going to put the Blind Chance on the left side, seeing as they're the bigger AoE effects. Uh, so one's an AoE 5, the other is an a well a multi-hitter. So there we go, lots of damage back to, um, what's her name, Ch -ch -ch Ruby, um, and then yeah, now that we've got the uh, counter attack sh up, we are not too afraid of people doing some damage out. Interestingly, the combo of Wyatt and Tamika is really great, um, because when both of their buffs are active, any damage that we get uh, is basically doubled. Uh, in, sorry, not damage, but the charge we get from damage is doubled um, because Tamika gives damage per counter attack and Wyatt gives, uh, sorry, charge per counter attack and Wyatt gives charge per damage. So, uh, two really great combining effects there uh, as well. So, uh, hopefully, this gets the kill on Amethyst and then we can just finish off Vision with Hex and call it a day, essentially. There we go. So, we are, what's that? Four kills off five flags, which isn't too bad. We've got one flag left. Uh, so we'll go in on continual take 18. Uh, another three 
green setup, but this time I've gone with two reds, uh, seeing as it is uh, a double green flank, I believe. I can't remember. I saw it briefly there. I should pay more attention. Yeah, it was a double green flank. Uh, hence why I've gone with the two red heroes. So, um, starting off just by trying to line up all of my green tiles a little bit better. Ideally, it would have been better if they'd cascaded. We didn't get that, but we did get the kill shot on... Um, Aviana, uh, and now I can just pop off with the uh, Ayumi talent. Um, and now I'm not too worried from this point if uh, we charge any special skills because we do have um, the counter attack shields up um, or the counter attack buff active from Ayumi. I will obviously try to put the um, insanity element out on as many people as we can. We'll regen both uh, our healing and also Ayumi's counter attack. Um, and then just basically tap away on, um, I can't remember what his name is, Purple Dude, Cruz, that's his name, uh, on the right hand side. So probably not going to get the kill, but it doesn't really matter because we should get the damage off with the counter attack. He's got a two in five chance of hitting um, someone with counter attack, which we saw there. Uh, Mev and I did get charged thanks to uh, Wyatt's effect. Um, before the charge stop ailment came out so we got that charge uh, and now we can pop the insanity or we did pop the insanity out on the left hand side again um refresh more healing in a second and then just fire off with bunraku and hopefully i think one more set of tiles finishes the battle but i don't believe so i think we end up uh, having to make a couple more matches um because i don't really have any tiles lined up under vision there but Either way, uh, this double tap from Ayumi and uh, Mevanaya is more than enough to finish off. In fact, Mevanaya is enough on her own. Nope. I played it wrong. Um, we got a dodge. Hooray for dodge effects. Um, all right, here we go. We'll pop off the blues uh, to cascade some reds and yellows, and then that'll be pretty much it once it goes through. So there we go. Five kills from six attacks. Not too bad in the scheme of things. Um... Particularly against, I think I faced pretty well, or most of them were ghost tanks, so I'll take that. Pretty good defenses, just got a little bit messed up on Robot 2037 there. Um, so yeah, ended up finishing within, I think, 100 points, so a pretty close war in the scheme of things. You can see, as I scroll up to it, my six attacks, so we got the four one shot, or five one, four one shot, five one shots, four one shots in the double tap. Uh, um, I'll make my mind up eventually, finishing just shy of 300 points on 14th position so yeah pretty good war by a lot of their guys they did get i think five six of sixes uh, no flags on either side but yeah close war six four eight one versus six five six oh so anyway that's all i got good luck with your own wars hopefully they went well and i'll catch you guys all in the next video good luck stay safe and happy gaming cheers bye